Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So this video is my top books of 2015. I believe I picked 10. I kind of had a hard time picking. I went to my Goodreads to see what I gave five stars, and this year my average rating for books was 3.5. I did not have a really great reading year um, when it comes to, like, great, fabulous books that I read, which is really disappointing. But it is what it is. Um, I looked at, like, my top five, and so many of, not my top five, but my top, my books that I rated five stars, a lot of Diane Chamberlain, a lot of um, Harry Potter, like, I write, I reread the Harry Potter series, so they were all in there, and it's like, I'm not going to pick Harry Potter as a top five, I mean a top whatever, because I picked it as a top read a while ago, so like that, like a year ago, or whatever year I read it for the first time, I can't remember. So like, I'm not going to pick that again. So I tried to like still pick like a variety of books, so if I gave all of Diane Chamberlain books five stars, I tried to pick my favorite one of all of her books, so that way this wasn't really repetitive. I think one author by accidentally got in here twice. Um, I tried to pick ten. Like I said, kind of hard, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. So the first book on my list is The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead. This is the sixth and final book in the Bloodline series. This came out this year. I pre-ordered that baby. I got it the day it came out, like, and it did not disappoint. I love this series so much. Like, I'm going to miss it terribly, so... Definitely had to be in my top books this year. Um, then I picked Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. This is a surprise book where I thought it was going to be good, but like I didn't really have high expectations for it. And it was phenomenal. I loved it. Five stars. Very like mysterious and just engaging. And I definitely recommend you go check this one out. This one also just came out this year. Well, not this year anymore because today's June 1st, so last year. Um, then What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. I think last year, was it last year? Both of her books made it to my top list. I think, I'm not sure. But I've definitely continued on reading her books and I still love them. This one is still equally as mysterious and thrilling and I really enjoyed this one as well. This one also got five stars from me. Um, The Searching for Someday by Jennifer Probst series. I started the first two books and I got so sucked in, so this had to make it in. Especially, I know I like just read it this month, but like definitely one of those series that sucked me in. I can't wait to continue this series. Um, Winter Street by Alan Hildebrand. This was just one of those Christmas books that I was just definitely looking for, and it just sucked me in, and I loved it. And I mean, Ellen Hildebrand, you know I just love to pieces anyways. So, five stars. Get Dirty by Gretchen McNeil. This is a sequel to um, Get... Hmm, get Even? I know it's the Don't Get Mad series or something like that. This is the sequel and the final book in this duology. This came out this year. Such a good duology that... It's just really fun and engaging about four girls in high school, and they are the type of people that kind of, like, out the bullies, but, like, secretly, and then out of nowhere there's, like, a murder, and it gets somehow pinned on these girls, but, like, nobody knows who these girls are these girls, um, so it just kind of unravels, and it's craziness, and such a good duology. I definitely, definitely will recommend this one. Another release this year was Return to the Dark House. A lot of these just came out this year. Um, by Lori Ferrar, Ferria, mm, Ferria Stolares. I loved this book as well. I like Welcome to the Dark House a lot better. I believe that was on my top list last year as well. And I just, this is so much fun. And I need to know if this is a trilogy or not. Like, is there another book coming out? Yes or no? I've been stalking her like crazy trying to figure out, like, is there another book? Not really stalking her, like stalking her Goodreads and her blog. Like, I went crazy yesterday trying to like find it and no such luck. So, if you know anything about this, like if you somehow have secret knowledge of this third book coming up, please let me know. Um, A Hundred Summers by Beatrice Williams. This kind of came as a surprise that I loved. Um, 
I just randomly like picked this up on a whim in the library bookstore because I thought I had heard of it before. And then I saw that Ellen Hildebrand quoted on the cover. So I was like, I'm going to give this a shot. And it was so much fun. I can't wait to read more by this author. I do own one of her other books. So I'm definitely going to try to check that out this coming year. But definitely um, beachy, summery, fun. Definitely go check this one out as well. Um, Diane Chamberlain, obviously I said I was going to pick one of her books, and I think this one might be my favorite, just because of the way this one sucked me in. I intended to only read, like, halfway or something like that, and I flew through the book and finished the book in one night. Like, I, like, could not stop reading this book. So, I think this one definitely could be my top runner of my favorite Diane Chamberlain books now. If you want to know more about Diane Chamberlain books, I do have a video, so definitely go try to find that one. Where all I talk about is Diane Chamberlain books. So, yeah. Um, this one also came kind of as a surprise love for me this year. Um, I saw Elle Fowler. She's usually a beauty guru, but she also kind of reviews books every now and then on her second channel. And she reviewed this book, and I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. And I, like, put it in my thrift books wish list, and it showed up one day, and I was like, might as well buy it. So I did, and it was so good. It's like a game of, like, dares. Based, it's like truth or dare, except it's all dares. Like, I dare you to do this, and you have to go do this, and then you'll get money. And, like, people are videotaping you, like, trying to do these dares. So there's people following you on the internet and being like, if you do this, like, I'll give you a pair of boots. And, like, it's so intense and definitely, definitely one to check out. I think it's actually going to become a movie with um, Julia Roberts' niece. What's her name? Jul <sighs> Emma Roberts? Is that right? I don't know. I think it. I think so. And that's coming out this year, 2016, I think. So I'm definitely going to want to check that out. Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley. This is definitely one of those books that's just stuck out to me. Like, I could see why other people wouldn't be intrigued by it um, because... It could fall flat if you're looking for kind of like a thriller thing, but I think because it's just so psychological, and I did get my bachelor's degree in psychology, so maybe that's why I liked it a lot. Um, it's just so, like, interesting. I, I don't know another way to put it. Um, Amanda from Amanda PA first recommended this book in one of her videos, and I had to pick it up, and I, it's just one of those books. It just is. Then I had to pick a Nicholas Sparks book because I read a couple of his this year. And this one was my favorite, The Choice. And lucky for me, it's going to be a movie. And I think it comes out in February. So I'm really excited to see this one. Nicholas Sparks is always going to be, I think, one of my favorite authors. Even though some of his books are misses for me, I definitely still am one of those chiclet girls who just has to read Nicholas Sparks. Um, Legend by Marie Lu. This one is another one that just kind of... Like, I've always heard it was so good, but, like, I never gave it a chance myself until Patrick kind of took one from his classroom because somebody left it behind for, like, an entire school year. So I kind of just sucked it in. And I loved it. I don't know if I necessarily, like, loved the next two books. Like, the next two books were good, but I definitely think that Legend was my favorite out of all of the three. Um, this is the author who snuck in here twice by accident, and that is Ellen Hildebrand again with The Rumor. I think it's also because I was just so looking forward to this book. This book I actually think I gave four stars, though, instead of five. And I just, I just love her. So anything Nantuckety. Enough said, right? And then Rebel Bell is another book that I gave four stars by um, Rachel Hawkins. But it was such a surprise for me because I don't know why. I always wanted to pick it up because of the cover, but I was kind of nervous about the storyline. And I just thought it was super fun, and I really want to get the rest of the series. But I know that because I forgot the first book in paperback, I kind of want the next ones in paperback. And I don't know if Miss Mayhem has necessarily come out in paperback yet. So we'll see. Definitely going to try to get the rest of the series at some point. And then that starts my monthly wrap up right there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some books that you might want to try in the year 2016.